What is going on guys, it's Mr. Very here, and we are going to be finishing up Grindfest today. So, uh, let's get right to it, huh? And hopefully the loot picks up, for those of you who watched last episode, oh my god, it was horrendous. Um, really bad. Just terrible stuff. Um, but, you know, it doesn't have to stay that way, it can get better, and hopefully it will. But yeah, so I released a screenshot video of Amero recently, and I've had some people tell me to take it off and whatnot, um, because uh, there was a picture, a screenshot of me playing Zemeckis Strife, which was a druid that um, I made after uh, Link, my main character at the time, had gotten hunted, and... I was really depressed and you know he I got killed at 7% to level 100 by people who were supposed to be friends and stuff so I was basically betrayed and uh, you know I almost quit the game altogether back then and you can see that I'm using um, Tibiabot NG and I have no problem coming out and admitting that I have used that before uh, most people, if if there's all tibia players, have exp have I'd say generally not all because that's a that's a broad statement um, and that would be blanketing everyone and not everyone has experimented with uh, anything that you're not supposed to use or done anything illegal, but let's be honest, a lot of us have, and um, and I've stated many times that the reason that I don't use a bot now isn't because it wouldn't benefit me because it would benefit me my character would be a much higher level um, of course I would also have the chance that my account would be deleted um, I wouldn't be in the current guild I'm in you know there'd be a lot of repercussions to it but so with that said though um, I think that it ruins the game I think that it ruins the game, and that's why I don't do it. Because what what does it mean to you to get another level when uh, a bot is doing it for you, as compared to when you know your own blood, sweat, and tears is put into it, and it actually it, it just and not only that, but for the people who have gained most of their levels through botting. I really don't think that your character is anything to be praised, nor do I think that it really has much uh, value. Maybe, maybe monetarily it does, but in the big scheme of things, oh, so you can write us, you can you can do a script, which is very very simple to do, by the way, and turn it on, and check it every so often. Okay cool. That means nothing to me. And it shouldn't mean anything to any of you other Tibia players either. And I'm glad that I, I finally get to talk about this topic pretty openly, um, because it's something I've wanted to touch on. But, you know, like, it's such a stigmatized topic in the community and stuff. Um, it's really hard to get truly open discussion about it. And it's, it's cool that I get to do that. Um, because, like I said, I've wanted to for some time now. But, yeah, so that's that. So, And people are saying, oh, well, you know, you could be, uh, someone could report that to Sipsoft, and your account could be banned. Well, actually, guys, um, do you know how easy it is to Photoshop a photo? And do you know how easy it is to, to that I could, I, I could make the defense that um, my account was, hacked or as in my YouTube account and that someone posted that video without my permission or uh, I can make the defense that the photo was edited and that I don't even I don't I've never seen that photo in my life um, and those are valid defenses and that that was they're not gonna do anything about it I highly doubt it and even now, as a disclaimer, um, 
you know, I could, I'm, I'm, I will neither confess nor deny, uh, although I kind of already have, but anyway, point being, it was a, it's a different time now than it was back then. Bots are also much more sophisticated now, um, for those of you who do not know, and I, I actually don't even know what the the big current bot is. Do any of you guys? I'm sure, <laughs> oh, of course, I'm sure some of you guys know what the, uh, the big uh, thing in botting is now, like, you know, NG was big for a while and then came Elfbot, and Elfbot was originally only used for PvP, and then it grew so large that uh, people started using it for cave botting too, which I think is probably the most beneficial uh, part of botting if you really want to be open and talk about it. I would say that uh, the fact that you can cave bot is craziest because PvP, I mean, if if you're not if you're not good at PvP nowadays, I would have loved to have seen you when runes needed to be aimed and uh, when it was <laughs> when PvP was a much different beast than it is now. Um, it was actually much much more difficult back in the day. Uh, for those of you who are old school players or remember or just no. Um, like you used to have to, for instance, for those of you who are a little bit newer, and if you are a new school player, don't be discouraged by the fact that uh, I'm referencing my old my old school players and welcome to the game and whatnot, but um, you know, uh, maybe I can give, I can uh, shed some light on some stuff for you guys. So for instance, uh, you used to have to aim runes on people to hit them with them. Uh, so when you were fighting in a battle like this, like you would take the SD, but you would actually click it, click click control on it in your backpack, and then you would uh, run around like this, and then shoot and click, and you would hope that you clicked in front of where the person was about to take a step, because if you did that, then it would hit them. If not, you would have to re-click. And also, there used to only be a single exhaust. And what I mean by that, a single exhaust, what do you mean? Um, right now, I can heal, attack, and haste all at the same time. Uh, back then, you could only you could only do one. You could only click haste, or use an attack spell, or heal. Um, but now they've divided it into three separate categories, attack, support, and healing. Which I'm fine with that. That's totally cool by me. Um, I think that it was a good addition to the game, and I think the game kind of needed it, but it just made the game easier, and that's my point, and that's why I bring it up, is it made the game easier. Uh, most of these updates have been, uh, a lot of the, the updates have been very user-friendly, making the game easier, making it uh, more appealing to new people, um, because back in the day, like, starting this game without any help, and my friends were total noobs, they did not, uh, really, they didn't really have much stance in the world, and they couldn't even really do much to help me, I mean, I was lucky if they were able to provide me with a plate set, even, um, but, and that's fine, you know, I learned on my own, um, and what's cool is, and there wasn't a Tibia wiki back then, there wasn't there wasn't all these awesome fan sites and all this knowledge readily available to me, uh, or to anyone really, you had to kind of tough it out. But, and it's, it is cool nowadays that like people like me are able to create uh, content like this and show you guys, or talk to you guys about certain things and teach you, because that's what I like to do, as I've said, I like to entertain, I like to teach. Um, I like making content for people, so I get to do all those things at once, which is really cool. And loot is really not picking up. Um, my cat is doing something really adorable right now, and it's too bad that I don't, um, I can't just, like, flash my webcam on him real quick while I'm hunting. Um, but, hey, look at that, I'm skinning the dragon lords. There, are you guys happy for all the people who are like, why don't you ever skin the dragon lords? There you go, I skinned them. Do you see what happened? I got nothing. The reason I don't skin dragon lords is because I would rather run to the next creature and get EXP than possibly get a red dragon leather, which is hardly worth anything. Um, but anyway. 
yeah, my cat is on, like, he's on the arm of my chair, and before he would never get up on the chair, so it's, it's kind of cool that he's actually up here sitting with me and stuff, and he's, he's actually laying right next to me as I'm playing, and he's kind of in my elbow room a little bit, but that's all right, I don't mind him. Still doing fine, so whatever, he can sit there. And we get a demon shield, look at that, loot picking up, how about that? It's about damn time. I'm almost halfway through my SDs. Uh, da, 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 da. Something is going on. It's My computer's like, oh, something seems to be getting plugged in and then taken back out. But I didn't do anything, so... Well, at least we got something out of this hunt, uh... But, yeah, we're gonna just... Stay close up with this demon and, uh, feed him some SDs. And hope that the loot keeps up as it just did. That was nice, a pleasant surprise to get a demon shield. And, um, so I said I wasn't going to do a screenshot video for you guys until I had reached, um, 2,000 subscribers, and then I kind of, I don't know, I had, like, this random motivation, uh, I was just like, uh, I don't know, I want to do my Amero, uh, my old Amero screenshots, I, I, I kind of got nostalgic and wanted to look at them, I guess, and I was like, well, if I'm going to look at them, I'm might as well make something out of it, you know? So, yeah, that's kind of why I produced, and I decided also that um, I thought it would be better if I broke up my screenshots into um, a couple different categories, and those categories being um, by world. Uh, so I'm going to be doing an Amer... I did an Amero one, uh, and I'm going to do a Venera one, which is Dravius. Um, most of his life has been was spent in Venera, so it's only right that I do a Venera video. And a lot of, uh, I think about two years I played on Venera, maybe even three. Uh, it, probably only two, maybe not even. Uh, it could have been even shorter than that. It, I know it was a pretty short amount of time because... I reached level 100 pretty quickly with the uh, 8.0 update, uh, and I was a very low level at the time in Venera with the 8.0 update, and for those of you who don't, do not know, the 8.0 update introduced um, royal spears and different ammunition for uh, paladins, new weapons for knights, and it made knights less magic oriented and more physically oriented and paladins. Uh, less magic oriented and more f uh, dis physically oriented but from obviously distance weapons so yeah that was a big big update and also that was when stair hopping was a big thing uh, I don't know if any of you if you don't know what stair hopping is let me let me inform you so stair hopping would was when you would go up and down at a perfect time and by doing this the creature would not see you and you would be able to get a free hit on the creature. This is why when you go up or down stairs now, you cannot immediately use uh, runes or attack something. It pauses for a second and then allows you to. Because Sipsoft figured out, oh, well, you know, if, if you do it right, a level 8 can kill... Um, Oh, my cat just left, which is actually kind of a good thing. My arm was starting to get a little tired there. Um, but they figured out if you do it right, a level 8 paladin with enough patience can kill a behemoth. And they're like, well, that's kind of messed up. We should fix this, which I agree with. Um, I got, I got, I actually got my first magic plate armor from stair hopping uh, the demon at, uh, well, a demon, the demon at the Adron spawn with parcels back when you didn't need to put something behind a parcel to uh, get back up. And if, like, as in you didn't need to have a person there or an object that um, 
was immovable or not something you couldn't walk through. Like uh, the old soldiers used to be like that. But anyway. Uh, we get another fire axe. Cool. Cool. It's a hell of a lot better than nothing. So, so far we get two fire axes and a demon shield. Not terrible. And, well, how are we doing on dusts? Uh, three dusts. So, eh, eh, eh. We, I think we're about breaking even. Maybe making a little bit right now. So that's good. Yeah, yeah, actually we're making a tiny bit. So that's cool. I'm in the profit profit zone right now and yeah hunts going good so uh, it's pretty nice I've had a lot of topics to really touch on due to the screenshot videos and whatnot and that's and the, the the small controversy that came up with it and I was I was and honestly like I said if I really cared uh, I could have just edited that out or something, or I, I was, actually, I did that at like 6 in the morning, so I was pretty tired when I was doing it, so I probably wasn't paying the best of attention, uh, which is probably why I missed it, but regardless of that, I, I don't really think it should matter, and some people have come out and said, hey man, regardless of, uh, the fact that you, oh, we get a dust, so that's kind of redeeming, fourth dust, um, regardless of the fact that you may or may not have been doing this, uh, I still think you're a great player, and I'm sorry that I can't name the exact uh, YouTuber who um, said that, but I do appreciate that comment, and uh, I hope that people share that sentiment and can appreciate my honesty. But... In any case, so server save is in about mm, 36 minutes. So hopefully we'll be able to get two parts off in this little section. And then when we come back from server save, I'll finish up and see if there's a fury gate or something interesting. And wow, we get an orb. Geez, I haven't seen a demon drop one of those in a while, and they actually don't really have like a super rare raid on those. I always thought orbs were cool looking even before they were updated. Okay, so... Um, and the third demon is definitely going to be respawned now because if this guy's back after we just killed him, then the third one is definitely here. So we're going to try to avoid him while we're dealing with uh, number two, which really shouldn't be difficult. And it's nice that with the levels I've gained, I can see some difference in uh, how quickly I take these things down and also how much of a threat they are to me. So that's cool. So, um, yeah, definitely a little bit easier. And I, I, almost, <laughs> I almost said to myself, look, just power level to level 300, and then you'll be tanking demons like nothing. You could probably get two to three on you and not even sweat it. Haste and avalanche and just destroy them, but... I don't know, I'm eager to get that uh, spell book, so don't know if I'm willing to wait that long, you know? But I suppose we'll see. Only time will tell. And we'll throw another life ring on. I'm not using the ring of healings because I'm using SDs at a faster rate than I am mana pots um, because of my defensive set. So I actually should have brought a couple more SDs than I usually do because uh, switching sets and I didn't even think about that and also not even just switching sets but also because I'm hunting in the uh, this cave rather than the south cave and that cave is a well not it's the same cave but area I should say is a little bit rougher and uh, you can really get more creatures on you and much e easier and uh, get snuck up on a little bit easier as well. So 
I've changed my hunting pattern here as uh, as well as my equipment and it's really and the graphics so with those three things it's made a major difference um, certainly come on give me your dust or not just give me nothing oh this one's back cool hey I'm fine with that but yeah certainly running through demons much much easier And the Wanda Defiance, it, it's kind of frustrating that uh, a druid would be dealing around 100 damage per turn with a glacial rod while I'm dealing 40s, but at least it's extra damage, and it, it might even account for uh, how much the demon heals. I don't even think I saw that demon heal once. So we get five fire mushrooms, that's 1k, and that's nice, and we have the chance of a dust still. Looking good though. Um, maybe the DL will comp. Occasionally, the Dragon Lords compensate for loot here, which is very rare because, as I've said before, uh, don't expect good loot out of Dragon Lords unless you get incredibly lucky. And uh, most people will share my sentiment with that comment. And, ooh, that was a that was nice. As soon as the demon got on screen, he was like, nope, you're getting paralyzed. I'm keeping you right with me. Um, but luckily, I'm getting to use up some of my avalanches, which is going to save me on SDs a little bit. And we'll prolong the hunt. Because we are now, as soon as we hit 500, we are now halfway through our, our uh, SD supply. So... Yeah, about halfway through the entirety of this particular grind fest. And almost got this one finished up. Nice. And also another thing that I didn't think about is uh, demons actually drop great mana pots pretty frequently. And, well, not, not super frequently, not as frequently as I would like them to, but they do drop them, and in uh, and, and pretty decent amounts as well, so it's definitely worth taking that into account and maybe bringing in a couple extra SDs in hopes that the rates will be as they should be. But of course, with me, um, for those of you who have watched my videos, you know that the loot is always cr crazy. It's... It's never consistent. It's never just the same out over and over. Like, I get, there's sometimes where I get crazy good loot and it's just outrageous and I'm profiting like outrageously. And then it just seems like the, the, the other times I am just getting absolutely screwed. But this is one of those times where it's kind of in the middle. And that's actually weird for me. Usually I'm either losing a great amount on a hunt or I'm gaining a great amount. And we got another fire elemental coming up letting me use some avalanches which is nice. Like I said can serve SDs. Fine with that. Wow I can exura. I can almost exura through uh, demons attacks now. That's sad for the demon. Good for me. I just use Xura Grand just because, I don't know, I like to play it safe, and sometimes they get off some nasty combos out of nowhere. You know, like Energy Hit, um, Energy Beam, and then Melee at the same time or something. And that's like, oh my god, that's just, that's massive amounts of damage. That's That, that could almost kill me at full health, or maybe it could. Um, I don't know. It would really depend on if they got lucky hits on every single hit, which the odds of that are pretty low, so I'm guessing most likely not, but it is possible. I'm not going to say it's not, because it probably is. Uh, that's 1,460 damage, for those of you who are 
curious or haven't been watching me heal I, for, I don't know oh yay another stealth ring cool let me just pick that up I guess see I don't even pick those up usually because I have no need for them at, at, on my character in particular uh, of course on lower level characters and stuff those are pretty helpful but at this level you really don't have a need for them and a green mushroom so a nice hundred gold consolation and no dust awesome and demon number three is in the building sweet wasn't sure if he was gonna be here or not but it looks like he decided to show up so fine by me and I'm now at like 55 to 60 percent of the way through my task so that's that's a it's a big deal it's a huge task so even that completing that much is awesome and I know that I'm gonna complete it someday and when I do I'm gonna feel so relieved to not have to look at another demon again unless I am going to an area where there just happens to be demons and I'm not going to hunt them because as soon as I'm done with my task you will not see me hunting demons unless I'm extremely broke or bored or something and decide that oh I'm gonna go hunt demons because there's a chance that I could make outrageous amounts of money which has happened several times like I've left here with uh, my first Garoma demons video I did I I left with a magic plate armor, a mastermind shield.